let's go ahead and start covering these one fights. We had um are, are we gonna start off with uh Sexon? Uh no, we're gonna start out with uh Prajan Shai versus Sam A. Okay, we're not doing super like? Um nah, it's fine. Okay, so we'll we'll skip super like. We'll go into I mean Prajan we're already trying six minutes in, you versus know. Sam A. I know, but super like man. We can circle back. We'll circle back to Super. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. So <laughs> Krash and Chai versus Sammy. Um I, I'm getting I mean, I'm like a kid at a candy store whenever I watch these one fights. I know. Dude. Because I, I'm like discovering new people as we continue going. Dude, but tell me, me you cannot watch Praj and Chai and not be like, when is this guy fighting again? I know. Dude. <laughs> I, I, but I keep on saying that about everybody that I see on one. But, I know. but Praj and Chai, you know, uh I just feel like he did such a good job because he was throwing the right at first, right? Mm -hmm. And then he comes in and well, he, he faints the right, like towards the chest. Mm -hmm. And then he mm -hmm. came back up with the left and landed oh, right you talking on about, his chin. Are you talking about this <gasps> that we can you show? Have video? You have a hey, shout out one once again for allowing us to show this video. See, so there he is. He's landing that uh, the right, and boom, there it is. Yeah, that was so, it right there. After landing <laughs> Look at Sam A's like, jab, God damn. Yeah, I mean we can and go back. He he throws that. Stuff. So again, he throws that right, right hand. Yeah, and if you watch his feet, he throws the right hand kind of to the chest. The the his right leg, his right foot ends up on the outside and just perfectly lines up that left hand, and it's beautiful to watch. Ooh, in slow motion too. Oh, Boom! God. Just perfect timing, man. Perfect placement, and yeah. uh, Sam A. Well, so the so, difference was, no like, in the first round, you could see the thing that was standing out for me in the first round, it's it's a Muay Thai fight, and it's traditional, right, where the first round's a little bit slower, right, the feeling out process, all that stuff. For the first, like, minute of that first round, they didn't even take any steps. They're just standing right in front of each other, and they're like, bam, bam, I like it. And it's like, oh, man, this is, this is going to be sick. Because for me, that whole time, I'm like, this is about to pop off, and when this pops off, it's going to be so sick. And... You could see things from Prajan Shai early. He's just so fast where he'd throw, he'd be, uh, if he was orthodox, he'd throw that outside leg kick, right, with his right leg. And and Sam A would try to counter it with his own low, low kick. Um, but he would literally kick him, bring it back, and then already be ready to check that that counter. Mm -hmm. And I was like, man, how, like that just comes with the, that rhythm, that timing that you get used to, you know, after just doing it for so, so long uh, that you're ready to be able to do something like that. Because, like, dude, I'm throwing a low kick. I'm getting it and I'm I'm not ready for a kick before my foot even plants from from the kick, you know, from my own. Um, but the thing that really made the difference for me in that first round um, was where Sam A was like jab, low kick as a counter, maybe the mm -hmm. inside low kick, jab. Uh, Prajan Chai was throwing multiple punches uh, whenever he would go. He would throw just a couple. Even if they weren't landing, he's just bop, 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 and then he's back. And it was like, okay. And that was the difference that 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 that's what presented itself in the second round, where Sam A was still doing one shot at a time. Prajan Shai was throwing multiple shots, multiple punches, and we've seen with the four ounce Muay Thai, like the punching is really what makes a difference. Um, so I thought, man, Sam A is going to have to do something, otherwise he's going to get he's going to get stuck behind all these punches, and he couldn't. He couldn't do it. Uh, yeah, man. Blunderbub says those fight? kinds of first rounds are getting a lot more rare, especially at Friday fights. Yeah, they definitely are. But And that's why when you get guys like this who have combined almost 800 fights, that's when you're going to see more of those first rounds um, because they, they know they don't need to rush things, you know? Yeah, yeah. All right, man. Uh, we can move well, on real, to the next one. Real quick, I want to see. Uh, oh, you want to show something else? Once, once, he, uh, once he got the knockdown, Prajan Shai smelled blood. And you can see these combos, man. The same, oh, that elbow. <laughs> oh, yeah. That elbow was nasty the way he ended it. Yeah. Ugh. And then Rough. we can actually see, uh, I want to see that first punch, that, that jab to the, to the chest for the left hand was so sick that I need to see it in slow motion, too. The uh, way my guy, Sam A, landed, too, just like he was taking a nap. Oh, that was rough. Yeah, well, there's some... Uh, veteran moves going on in this fight you'll see right here he lands the elbow and pushes him down yeah just a elbow little help and a push. just a little help 
You know, he, uh, George Foreman used to do that a lot, where people would say he's not even knocking people out. He hits a put, he hits them hard, and then he pushes them down. It's not, it's not real. And it's like, but do they get up? <laughs> you know, if it That's wasn't the real, thing. they'd get up. <laughs> That's the thing, because um, I, I don't remember, but did the ref even start an eight count on that, or did he just wait a second uh, and he was like, oh? I mean, yeah, I, think I he probably just called. I don't think I think he just called. Yeah. It. Okay. Well, I probably when he said, like I said, it looked like he was taking a nap. You know what I mean? So. Yeah. When you see that, I mean, it's probably like he was like, just called at this point. Yeah, hundred percent. And there's no shame. In All right. No, no, no shame. Uh, the fight before that, the other fight we're going to cover, uh, we had Sex on versus Ben Don. I found out it's not just Bendon, right? Like you see this name, and but it's Ben Don. And uh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, hey, dude, Sex on one of those legends, right? I've watched him fight before. You've seen you before. You tell me about Sex on before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um. Dude, this, this was the best fight round, of the night. The first round, I was like, okay. Ben Don coming on because uh, I guess they were talking about how it's like it's like contender series for yeah. one. Mm-hmm. And Nathan kind Ben of, Don, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, it's kind of turned into that a little bit. Yeah, but Nathan Ben Don, they said, unfortunately, didn't make it on the last one. You know, So he, he had a fight tooth and nail to get back into a position where he could possibly yeah. sign with one again. So here he is. Uh, they throw him up against a legend. They're like, all right, dude, you want to you want to find one? <laughs> Show us what you can do against Sexon, you know? Yeah. And that first round, man, he hurt he a lot. to the body. He uh, hurt him, man. Yeah, I mean, we, we, I, well, we can show some highlights. That first round was all Bendon. It was all him. Sexon couldn't get anything off. Um, it, 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 and I was like, oh, man, this is going to be a long night. Because I'm a big – I mean, look at this left hand. Oh, how do you oh, take that? that was – look at that. How do you take that? Also, Bendon looked like another weight class in there. He looked massive. He did. He looked massive, dude. But it never I mean, seems to matter to these tie fighters because that yeah. that seems to be often yeah. uh, where there seems to be a mismatch. Look at that. His after after and the, the first elbow round he's out for the for Sexon's return. Look at that beautiful. Oh, look at that oh, knee to the, the body, knee to the body, and the left hook. What a combo! The after so after the first <laughs> round, you could definitely see Sexon's hands were a little bit lower because there were yeah. a few times that uh, Bendon went to the body. And six on the guard was already low, so it hit his elbow versus landing, you know, on the yeah. liver or something. So his guard was coming down a lot more. So uh, Nathan was able to land a couple more shots up to the head. But after that first round, it's like something awakened Dude. within six on because he came out after that like an absolute monster. Uh, he was but running before we at go him. On to this, before we go on to that, one of the things about one is the level of respect, right? Yeah. Another thing about one. Is that you see people like a Nathan that goes up against mm-hmm. a legend like Sexon at a legendary arena in Thailand. So there's always <laughs> yeah. so much respect, right? And I love the fact that Nathan was not showing very much respect that first round because you know what? I'm in your hometown, bro. Yeah. And you're the legend. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring you. it back to you. Yeah, I'm gonna take it from you. I'm gonna bring it to you. Uh yeah. so in that first round, uh, the ref has him trying to separate, and as mm-hmm. the ref grabs both their shoulders, he throws the knee. That yeah. lands on Sexon while Sexon is leaning out the ropes a little bit. And Sexon's like, dude, what the hell? And then <laughs> to end the round, oh, Nathan yeah, lands yeah. a one-two on Sexon. And this is usually where you would see him like start bowing and being like, hey, I'm so sorry. And instead he raises his hands up, stares yeah. straight at Sexon like, what? Let's go, yeah. dude. And I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Might have been the wrong move, though, because you were about to start talking about how Sexon came out that second round. <laughs> dude, That because Sexon really had no success that first round. I mean, he got the mm-hmm. the brakes beaten off him, and I was like, "Man, this is hard to is getting hard to watch if this continues like this." Uh, and it didn't at all because he came out in that second round, maybe a little bit more of a feeling out process in the first like thirty seconds. But and I wish we could play with audio because this the crowd went insane during this round when Sexton started landing, and you can see Benin just trying to trying to you know stand his ground, but Sexton just refusing to give him any space. Just right in his face. And just, you can see, even when he was getting hit, he was like, this isn't going to phase me. We're just going to go to war here. I mean, look at him yeah. just following him and dig to the body. And Ben and lands the knee. Sexton's back at him. Eats a head, but just swarming him. Giving him no space. And look at him it calling him on right there. When he does get space, he's calling him on. And, and you can see, even when they're separating, you see like Sexton like yeah. hyping himself up. like Like ready to start again. I mean, just – and Ben is like, man, what do I do here? Everything Nothing. I'm throwing – You can't do anything. It's, it's not hurting him, you know? 
and like a nice elbow yeah. from sex and and what this doesn't do it justice if you watch this uh on the channel with audio every single time sexton throws anything regardless of if it's landing or not he's just hey. the, the crowd is going it's lighting hey. up it's like, what, is, what, what do you think that does for you as a fighter you know it's got to be just like an incredible feeling where the whole crowd is cha- look at him look at him like hope like trying to get back at him uh i mean just the ref could barely hold him back no whenever yeah. he'd every- separate him the ref yeah. could barely hold him back because he was pushing forward the entire time the crazy thing too though is you see this in the oh, second round the like a lot of these highlights are shown right now is the a, a lot of the highlights are shown right now in the second round dumps him this one time guess how many more times he dumped him after that will yeah zero couldn't do it zero yeah. no no he was pissed you yeah. saw the way he bounced back up after like okay dude we're, we're doing that now i thought yeah. we were throwing oh, we're doing trips <laughs> yeah is that what we're doing we're yeah. talking about trips but he goes back, man. In this? the third round, I expected him to come out in the third round a lot slower. Be tired, but dude, yeah. Nathan came out slower. Yeah. And Sexon came I mean, out dude, at the exact same look, rate. Look at this demoralized Sexon's putting on him. Yeah. And he hung in there, man. you know. Ben and hung in there, but Sexon just. I mean, how do you come back from a round like this? You look know? at that. He jumps towards Nathan. <laughs> yeah. And he gets caught with the left hook as he's jumping towards him, and he just shakes it off and, and comes right back. Runs back. At him. <laughs> yeah, this, this fight was insane. If there's going to be any fight that you go back and watch, this is one of them for sure. Yeah, this these guys went to absolute war. Real quick, I just want to show uh, at the end of this round, we might as well show the slow motion highlights. I just want to see the spinning back elbow from Sexon. Uh, that's a good knee from Benden. A good jab from Sexon. A nice yeah. right hand. They don't really mind if you hit in the back of the head, huh? In one. Hey, these things happen. You know, it's a fight. They don't. They're not tripping at all. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah whatever you can hit, go for it. It's a fight. <laughs> it's a fight. Uh, yeah. Or this, or I think it's coming up here. Look at that. The way he evades it, and then bam. Oh yeah, cuts him just open. Slice you can see it. You can see it. Cut him open. I'm gonna, I'm gonna slow it down even a little bit more. Oh, I know no, we're running we're out of time. This? But you can see the the moment it splits him right here. Ready? Bam! The elbow comes up, and you can see it's oh, already yeah, open. Yeah, 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 yeah beautiful work hey, uh chatri said that this was his favorite fight of the night and that he's like you know sexton's old he's been there he's done that all this stuff uh but he's got no quit in him and i respect that it's like oh, hell I love yeah it. Dude. i love it by the way dude the thai translator might be my favorite translator so in hyper. all the sports dude oh my <laughs> god yeah. dude <laughs> the way he's yelling yeah. and dude i get so excited i'm like y'all don't know what he said like but it, it, sound, <laughs> it sounds good. better. It sounds better. Yeah. You know? yeah, and Mitch is pretty good, too. Mitch gets Mitch hyped, too. Mitch is good. Yeah. But not as hype as a translator, bro. No. No, no way. I love that translator. <laughs> um, yeah, so, uh, by the way, Chachi, once again, Oprah in there. Just throwing bonuses. You get a bonus. Out. You get a bonus. You, you get, get contract. two bonuses. You get <laughs> yeah. a contract. Yeah, dude, left and right, man. And you just see the level of respect that mm-hmm. these fighters have for Chachi it's a beautiful thing man it really yeah. is um you know every once in a while you'll have um uh a pena not a pena yeah. what, what's her name uh i can't why her name why is her name slipping my mind what does she do she's a <laughs> she just beat juliana Pena. she just uh beat uh um Amanda what's her face amanda nunes why did it slip my mind yeah but like you'll see amanda <laughs> nunes go out and thank uh oh yeah it's not like uh, this, dana though. white you know, you'll go out there and you, you it, it's rare. It's rare. Conor McGregor yeah. did it a couple times, you know, but every single fighter, so many fighters in one just have an immense amount of respect for Chachi, dude. I don't think we yeah, can I say mean, the same for other organizations. Well, I mean, you know, there's, there's, there's controversy with Chachi too. You know, he's a promoter, so there's always going to be. Tell um, me, do do tell. Well, I mean, it's, it's tough. I'm, I'm pretty sure in, I, I think there's a, at least there used to be. I don't know if there still is. There used to be a, a clause in the contract that you couldn't like bad talk uh, the organization, which mm. you could argue is never like a good thing. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is what it is. He's he said some things in the past where like um, maybe could have uh, held his tongue, uh, like talking about a fighter who lost or something, or or a fighter who won and said, you know, there's a robbery, like they don't deserve the belt, that type of stuff. Uh, I know he has beef with Nongo and things like that, but. I mean, for the most part, um, I mean, handing out bonuses like that, 
actions speak louder than words. You know what I mean? So do you think that all the fighters that are showing that immense respect, is it in the contract? No, no, it's not in the contract that you have to praise I mean, them. Like, hey, after it's I just... win, I have to thank Chuck. <laughs> Could you imagine? Yes, you have to sign right there. Uh, you, and this one, next, tell, this one, this one, and this one. You'd be able to tell, like the you could tell that it's real when when they tell them that the, they got the bonus and they're like, oh my god, and they run out of the cage real quick or the ropes or wherever they are, and you know it's it, that's very real. You, if that was fake, you'd be able to tell, you know. Um, yeah. But for the most part, I mean, being able to hand out bonuses like that just on a whim in during the card instead of waiting because like we can only do three, so uh, we have to wait till the whole card's over. It's like you tell me, Trevor Peak and and uh, Chepe didn't deserve a bonus as soon as that fight ended, and they never even oh, got bro. one. You know, oh, rough, but rough. yeah, yeah, no, the no, sex it on seems, deserves uh, everything uh, in the world. Seems more real than uh, the Bronx fake tears in the Yaku, you know, <laughs> and and Amanda's fake tears and Amanda Nunes. Don't get me started, dude. That makes me so mad. All right, yeah. So, next, uh, next fight we're gonna cover Wong Tai versus Carrillo. Man, it's been a tough, tough go for Wong Tai lately, you know. Um, the guy. It's one of those fighters that you have to. Nico fought this perfectly. I thought his I thought his game plan was so good because um, you cannot let Mong Tai. He starts a little slow, right? Traditionally, um, but if you let him ramp up, uh, like you're not going to stop him. You cannot let him ramp up. If he ramps up, you're toast. He's going to run straight through you. They call him the elbow zombie for a reason. You know, like he's going to just yeah. keep walking you forward. He's going to keep blasting you. You're never going to get to breathe. But if you do the same to him before he can start that, you've got a pretty good shot. You know, you yeah. have to smother him because if you let him get going, it's going to turn into an avalanche. You just cannot let him start. And Nico did exactly mm-hmm. like exactly that. Uh, he, he was catching the kicks. He How many times did he dump him? Like 10 oh, times? Too many times, dude. Too many times. I mean, and over and the, over again. That was my problem with this one. It's like a... The, the right kick to the body, mm-hmm. right? And Nico kept on grabbing it. Yeah. But the thing that I, even though that was frustrating to see, Wong Tai did not change his strategy at all. Mm-hmm. The cool thing to see, though, was Nico would change how he would counter that. So he'd grab it That's and then amazing. drop it and throw left. He would grab it and dump him. He'd grab it, left hook, right hook to the body. Every single the time was something the, the leg that's on the ground. Yeah. So. He, he did such a good job mixing it up. So even though he's like, yeah, you know what? I'm going to keep on catching that kick, and you're going to know I'm going to keep on catching it, but you're not going to know what I'm going to do afterwards. And, and how, did he, how did he stop him? Was it the elbow? Caught the kick. But this time, instead of tripping him or throwing a punch, he caught it, circled, and then threw the elbow. Yep. Beautiful. Beautiful. Bam. Look, Look at, at that. that. God. Man. And then uh, I thought they were oh, going to call it there when Mong Tai fell on his face. I was like, "Oh, that's yeah." It. I mean, probably a good time to call it, you know. But it, but he got right. Back up, trying, you know? Yeah, yeah. But he's also tried to get up and fall flat on his face again. But we'll see. Yeah, and then from there, you could see Nico just. It was like, I am not giving this man a break. There's no way I'm letting him try to come back from that. I have to smother now, uh, and he just went for the kill. But but like not not too yeah. crazy, you know. He wasn't swinging wild. He's still he's still sharp. He's still he's not wasting energy. Uh, he was straight to the point. Um, I mean, look, it's another one. The kick again. Yeah, now, it, back to the just, elbow. It didn't work that time. Hand you know? fighting, hand fighting, hand fighting. Caught that kick. kick look, left hook to the body. Body. Elbow to just the head, head and the knee. And they're like, all right, that's a standing eight count because he would have fallen all that stuff, right? Montai's like, I'm good, dude. And Nico's like, p- puts his has, hands on his head. He's like, I don't know. I, this is crazy. Because yeah, I was very surprised that he pulled this off. This is massive. Like, massive for him. Man, that right hand. And then was that a George Foreman push after the right hand? Was that I don't know. Was that a Prajan Shai push after the right hand? <laughs> see, but the, and, and this is the thing. This is where when I see like, hey, he tried to stand up, he fell flat on his face again. Do we really need him to take another knee? Another no, elbow, exactly. I thought this was flying right in. Yeah. Um it, it it was rough. It was rough, you know. But uh hey, uh this is my first time personally seeing Nico fight. And dude fought he's an very well. Killer. He's an absolute killer, man. All right. You could tell in the uh, post fight interview, too, he was like, he was beaming, dude. He was so happy. I was happy for him. It sucks to see Mong Tai go down like that because I really like him. But, you know, at least his so teammate, his teammate won. We have two fights left to go. Yeah. Um, Bular versus Malikin, right? And this was for the unification of the heavyweight title. Long time coming. Yes. 
Yeah, so uh, not too impressed with Bullor. <laughs> you don't say. Not too impressed. So, uh, <laughs> and, he, and quite honestly, after watching this fight, I can't say I'm too impressed with uh, Malikin either, other than with his gas tank. Interesting. Yeah, but maybe it's just the fact that, like, I didn't see too much from Bullar. Mm -hmm. And so I feel like Malikin did what he needed to do to win the fight. Mm. But I, I didn't see enough back and forth for me to be able to say, like, hey, I saw a lot from Malikin too. So, yeah. So, uh, first off, he's claiming that he fought this fight on one leg, right? That he was injured going into this, but this fight had been canceled multiple times. And he was like, I'm not, I'm not letting this get canceled. So he fought on one leg, allegedly. Um, this also was, there's a lot of drama behind this fight. Uh, Buller has been the champ for, how long has he been the champ now? Um, when he, when he beat Brandon Vera of May of 21. Um, Brandon Vera, great guy. Great guy. But I mean, Brandon Vera was like 50 years old when, when Buller beat him. But since then he has not fought once. He's held Ooh. on to that heavyweight belt. They haven't stripped him. I don't know why they have, they never, they never stripped him. Um, he was supposed to fight Malikin twice before this, pulled out. Oh, I'm injured this time. Then there was the broadcast rights, all this stuff. It's been a long time coming. So I think Malikin was like, hey, also, if you look at any thread, any comments, anything about this fight going forward, everyone's like, finally, Buller's about to get murdered. Uh, like, finally. Like, Malikin's going to run through him. He doesn't deserve the belt, all this stuff. He's held at hostage. Malikin's going to run through him. Malikin's going to run through him. Imagine you're going to take that fight, and everyone expects you to just murder this dude, and you're on one leg. You're not going to take any risks because if you mm -hmm. lose that fight, it's a that's a tough loss. Yeah. Um, but I thought you know you got to Buller is decent, right? Um, Blunderbub says uh, I watched four Buller fights before this. Man's never really been pressed. Uh, Vera was gashing that whole match. Yeah, hundred um, percent. But you could see even in this fight, this was this actually did impress me with Malkin because Malkin looked very patient in this fight, um, and he's a wrestler. Right, he's a very good wrestler that just also has cinder blocks for hands. Uh, this was his thirteenth fight; it was his thirteenth finish. Um, and what I was really impressed with him was just his shot selection, because the whole whole first round, Buller's in the corner, right back in the corner. Malikin's walking him down, keeping him in the corner. Buller's doing a decent job landing the jab, uh, trying to interrupt his combos with the jab, and he's landing it, but it's clearly not having a ton of effect on Malikin. Whereas Malikin is throwing his jab, he'll throw his cross, he'll throw his cross, he'll delay, and then left hook. But but Buller was doing a good job of like parrying stuff, and he was slipping things, and he was parrying, and he was catching them right before they landed, so it was deflecting a lot of stuff. And what does is, what is Malikin do in the second round? He starts digging to the body, where he's throwing that right hook to the body in the close stance, and then he's following up the left hook to the body when when uh, Buller, Buller tries to evade the left hook up top. He turns, opens up the, the le uh, his right side, left hook to the body. I thought his shot selection and his his stutter stepping and his uh, like timing was just so impressive that he just was like, I'm not taking any risks here. I'm just going to keep it on him, and I'm going to land these shots, and he's going to break. And that's basically exactly what happened. You know, the, the, yeah. the, the end of this fight was rough. <laughs> I mean, the, the, the only thing I put down on here is Buller did not seem in shape. He didn't seem yeah. like he wanted to be in there. He gets yellow carded during the fight. He was lazy off the ropes. And, and what I mean by lazy off the ropes, so <clears throat> heavyweights or just powerful fighters in general, right? Yeah. We saw with Josh Emmett. Yeah. You know, when he gets caught up against a cage against ropes, you still have to be careful mm -hmm. because they will come back with a big right hook, a big yeah. left hook. They'll, they can still come back with something big that puts you in danger. Mm -hmm. Buller would get up against ropes. And like you said, he tried to parry and do all these things. He get caught, he get caught, and then he shoved Malikin away. Yeah. So not, Malikin didn't feel like he was thing. in danger at all. Yeah, at that all. was the thing. Like Bullard needed to, he was in the first round, he was landing his jab well. Um, but he was never throwing anything else outside of that jab that was gonna get the respect of Malikin and say, Yeah, no, oh, I need to take a step back. Yeah. I mean No respect from the Russian. Look at these combos from Malikin, dude. I thought it looked he looked so good. When look, he starts throwing throw the right hand back. to the body. Didn't throw anything back. And look, there's shove. the push. And there's the jab. Look. And then that right look. hook to the body. Ugh. You're telling oh, me you man. weren't impressed with Malikin? No. And the reason why is probably because I wasn't impressed at all with 
fuller right and like well, i said it I takes would love two to, to tangle, see right? it takes two to tangle and i want to see i want to see somebody push back man i want to see Mal somebody give malik a uh, a yeah. challenge i want to see somebody you know swing off the ropes i want to see somebody that has right, lateral somebody. movement somebody yeah has lateral movement you know like i and so I get that. look i i could be impressed with a lot of people that hit mitts i could be a lot True. of impressed with a lot of people that that spar and that are told hey don't hurt this guy because he has a fight in a couple weeks yeah. so just you know move around I'd be impressed but, with somebody like that, sure. But in something like this, unifying uh, 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 the heavyweight title, I mm -hmm. just – and it, it's not his fault, right? But I just I'm, – yeah. I'm taking this with a grain of salt because I don't know exactly yeah, what he would that's totally against fair. anybody else. That's totally fair. Yeah. I think this was a title unification, but everyone was basically like, we're just delaying the inevitable. Like, let's just get this out oh, of the way so him. we can – Up against can, the corner. Uh, yeah. Clinch. No but shot man, back. Once, right? once Shoves he, him. Once he was like gas gassed in that third in that third round when he's like crawling out of the ropes to like try to survive, I, that was that was tough to watch. When he, he was literally trying it, to climb out of the ropes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. And then that was, uh, was that I when saw, uh, he was uh, on guys, top, guys, Malcolm, and then he card. brings him back in, and then he's like, no, 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 card. like you got to lay down though and get back yeah. in the same position you were in. And then he's like, damn it, you could see yeah. him like not want to be there at all. That's so when I wrote down. Ropes, then. <laughs> he does not want to be and look 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 again what does he do he doesn't throw anything back i mean it's he's in pure defense mode at this man. point man piss poor performance let's be real knowing buller's history this is probably the last time he fights i would be very surprised if he fights again this and this was this was two years removed from his last fight he's basically just held on to that belt and like kept it hostage you know where he beat like an 80 bored? year old granavera if you're Buller, why not? You know, like, because he blew up in India, right? He blew up in India. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Superstar. Do you think he's making money uh, over there off of just uh, sponsorships and I mean, appearances? And <laughs> this was you tough know, to so watch, man. He probably knew, like, yo, when I fight again, I'm probably not going to have this title. So let me milk this a little bit. You know, let me oh, see yeah, how much definitely. money I can make just off my name and having the belt. And then after that, I'll just never be allowed in the country again. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. When they gave him the yellow card, I was like, "This is this is getting tough." Like, can we just get the finish here? Because because it, it was bad. Um, yeah. But man, I loved. Uh, I I got. I'll show you some Malikin fights because this is now he's now the undisputed light heavyweight and heavyweight champ. This was Love him. It. Yeah, and and he's like, I want to lose a bunch of weight and get the middleweight belt, and everyone's like, "What?" Oh my god! Can you? <laughs> That's what he said now. <laughs> He's like, I want to slim down, get to middleweight, and I want that belt. I want three. Tell him to partner with uh, TJ Dillashaw. He has a diet plan that's really good. <laughs> Allows him to drop yeah. weight. Doesn't lose any cardio. It's fantastic. Yeah. All right. Uh, you want to move on to the last one we're going to cover? Yeah, another banger. This is a fun fight. Abba Solo versus Killer Kid. Uh, what's his name again? Uh, Sidichai. Uh, yeah. Sidichai. It sounds so much easier when you do it that way. Sidichai. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Sidichai versus Abba Solo. Last time I saw Abba Solo. He looked fantastic. World leader out there, so right? Good. Yeah. And he looked good. To, looked good. <laughs> well, Sinichai looked better. Well, Sinichai looked a little better. When they, gave, when they gave Eddie this fight, I was like, God damn, no easy fights for Eddie, huh? This is this is going to be a tough one. You got to go to Lumpini and fight Sinichai. Um, But, dude, he looked really good. This was a this well, was a much closer fight than than I think yeah. uh, people thought it than was going to be. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah uh, well, definitely. <laughs> when Abasolo bounces off the ropes... And he sees Sidichai coming in, and he comes in with a spinning back elbow, turns yeah. around, and lands elbows back to back. And I'm like, okay, Abba Solo coming yeah. in, and you know he, he's looking pretty good against uh, Sidichai. And then, um, well, let's see, real quick. Yeah. Oh, is, it, is this the elbows? Look There's the spinning back elbow, and then the, the spinning, elbow, and then the other elbow, and the other one, elbow, and the other one. Elbow. <laughs> oh my god, so much yeah. fun to watch, man. And then here's uh, Sidichai's good exchange at the end of the fight here. Hurts him there. Yeah. Just uh, looking for whatever is open, right? Whether it's just the knee to the body, left uh, left straight. Just straight up animals, though, man. This is another one of those fights that was just nonstop aggression from both guys, you know? I thought Eddie did yeah. a great job landing those elbows um, and finding the moments to land those. It was just a little bit too much. Sita Chai was just the, a little bit too much. The, the only other thing I'd have to point out in this fight, it's uh, Eddie had a really hard time being first. Mm. And, and so when they were in close quarters like that and they were exchanging, I think that they were do both doing a pretty good job. But 
when they would, you know, kind of separate a little bit and then come back in and have a solo would try to lead, uh, lead with like a left hook or a front kick or whatever. Like he, he just couldn't seem to close the distance and find that range where he'd yeah. be able to hurt Sidichai with his lead shot. So mm-hmm. it seemed like after a while he was like, all right, Sidichai will have to throw a lead and then I'm going to see how I can try to counter. But Sidichai is just so good. Well, yeah, and that's sometimes it's okay, right? If you can't be first, because if you can counter, then you don't need to, right? Uh, yeah. You don't need to be first, but it's a lot harder to do that successfully when the guy who is able to be first and who is having success being first uh, is able to like vary their entries and they're not entering the yeah. same way every time. There's no tendency to pick up like, oh, they're doing this a lot. I know the counter because Sidichai yeah. was was entering with so many different things that you can't really prepare a counter for it, you know. Which is where Eddie started being like, you know what is the same every time is that he ends up close to me. So no matter what he throws to get in, now that he's in, elbows. He's you know? close. <laughs> yeah, and it worked, sure. it worked pretty well. Uh, shout out Keith yeah. says, hey, gents, team Malikin. Uh, it'd be hard, shout out Keith, it'd be hard to find someone who was team Buller for that fight. It'd be very hard. I think there's 2 billion people that would say that they are, sir. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> Not even in India, bro. Come on. <laughs> oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> uh, may- maybe not anymore. There's a lot of drama in history there. <laughs> maybe not anymore. Maybe now they're like, you know what? I I want my sponsorship money back. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, there was maybe. No sponsors. All right. They had they had to have blank shorts for some reason. I'm not sure. There was something because they were supposed to fight on a prime card. I think there's broadcasting rights issues with Prime in India or something, and they needed to capitalize on the India viewers. Uh, so they rescheduled this. That's why it was on the YouTube card. Uh, but then they both came out no uh, no sponsors on the shorts, blank shorts. So I'm, there there must be something with like broadcasting rights in India or something like that's very he, stringent he or something. He says, "Oh yeah, India loves him." See, dude, he has two billion people backing him. You're just looking <laughs> in the wrong spots. Uh, maybe. <laughs> hey, don't do look in Russia. Still? Don't look in the U.S. <laughs> but do they still? But do, yeah, that's the big question. Like I said, I don't think they'll allow him back in. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Well, so, all right. Uh, I think that's but man, what a card. for recovering, man. What what a weekend! 